Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala An alam Alam al-Sunnah Mujaddid He said in his very Beneficial treaties Asul al he spoke about the four important principles or four important things that every Muslim must know. And the first thing he said in his treatise, he said, I'lam rahimakullah annahu yajibu alayna ta'allam arba masail. The first thing he said is he supplicated, he said, I'lam rahimakullah. He said, and know and may Allah have mercy upon you. And when he said, may Allah have mercy upon you, this was a way to get the believer or the person listening to open up their heart to what was being said. So this is from the adab of the ulama, of the scholars of Ahl Sunnah, that you'll find in many of the early treatises that when they were teaching, they supplicated for their students. And that's part of the adab of the mu'allam. That's part of the manners of the teacher. And so in order for his students' heart to be open and ready to intake the knowledge that is being transmitted or the whatever is being given that the person can benefit from. So the sheikh said, he said it's an obligation for every Muslim, for everyone, to know four things. And he said, Al Ula Al Ilm. He said the first thing is knowledge. Then he went on to say what knowledge was. He said, Wahua Ma'rafatullah, that it is knowing Allah. Wa Ma'rafat Nabi and knowing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. Then the Shaykh went on to say, What Dalil? He began to give the evidence for that. What is the evidence of this, these ideas that the Shaykh has mentioned? He said, What Dalil Qawluhu Ta'ala and the Dalil. The evidence for this from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, uh, especially from the Quran, is Surah Al Asr, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, after "A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Al Rajim," Bismillah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Wal Asr, Inna Al Insan La Fi Khusr Illa Al Ladina Amanu Wa Amanu Al Salihati Wa Tawasu Bil Haqi Wa Tawasu Bil Sabr. How is that dalil for those ideas that the Sheikh said? He said that knowledge. No, you know, knowing Allah, knowing uh, the Prophet, and knowing the religion of Islam, be adilla. And the second thing is, Wathani al Amalabi is practicing that knowledge. Athalath, the da'wah to ilay, and giving da'wah, you know, calling to that knowledge. And the third thing, a sabr ala adafi. How is Surah Al Asr dalil for that? Surah Al Asr, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, swears by the time. By the time, Barely mankind is in a loss. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first affirms that mankind, all of mankind, kulluhum, al ins wal jinn, they're in a loss. They're all in a loss. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes istithna. He makes the exception. He says, illa ladina amanu, except those who have faith, those who believe. And in order to have iman, this is the wajid dalala, this is how that this ayat is evidence for the things that he said. Is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Illa ladina amanu, because in order to have iman, in, in order to amanu, in order to believe, you have to have knowledge. You can't believe without knowledge. C to know about what you what you what you believe in. And so Illa ladina amanu. Except for those who believe. 
And again, in order to believe, you have to have uh, you have to have knowledge, ilm, and that's dalil for the first thing the Sheikh said of knowing Allah, knowing the Prophet, and knowing the religion of Islam with the dilla. Then the second thing he said, and da'wah to ilay. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ تَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ Calling to the haq, calling to the truth. That's da'wah. That's what da'wah is based on. Da'wah is based on calling to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Calling to the haq, to call, calling to al-haq, which is Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. So that's the da'wah to ilay. And then the third thing he said, or the fourth thing he said, was sabr, or he said, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And doing righteous deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and doing righteous deeds. And Shaykh Muhammad, he said, he said, and practicing that knowledge. So you gain knowledge, you practice the knowledge. The third thing is, is you, you make da'wah. So you practice what you preach. You make da'wah, إِلَى اللَّهِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who believe. وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And do righteous deeds. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ And they call to the truth, meaning they're giving da'wah to the haq. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّبْرِ And they are patient upon the harm that comes with that da'wah. And that was the fourth principle or the fourth thing that the shaykh mentioned related to what Muslims must know and practicing their religion. And that is the benefit of knowledge and the fiqh of the ulama, the understanding of the ulama, how they understand the religion. We benefit so much from them. And we ask that Allah the Almighty accepts our good and forgives our evil and blesses us to be of those who practices what we preach and benefits us and benefits our communities.